Welcome to Starbucks. What are we getting started for you? How's it going? I may just have a tall uh, J Citrus Mint. Hi, morning. Uh, that's, like, very close to it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Okay, cool. Hey, Rage. Hey, man, what are you doing for the holiday? Uh, not a whole lot. Heck yeah, you know, that's <laughs> Just honestly, chill. That's honestly better than doing too much. Oh, I know, you right? You don't have to pay. What? Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, for us? Merry Christmas. Uh, what are you oh, talking America? about? Oh, cool, cool. All well, right, I appreciate it. Bye. Take care. Free drink, hell yeah. What's up Cinco Nation? Welcome to Flix Feed. Hope you enjoyed that new uh, movie review intro. So over the weekend I uh, went to see Aquaman with my friends. And the question is, is DC back? Well to answer that question, let's go ahead and talk about the negatives first. Uh, and this is something I'm doing differently than other movie reviewers is to get the negatives out of the way first. That way you can leave this review with the positive notes. I mean, why think about the negatives uh, all the time, right? It's just logic. So with that said, here are my negatives with the movie. Apologize for the windshield wiper. Uh, it's obviously raining outside. I love this weather, but it's horrible to drive in and unsafe, especially with these people. In the city I live in, they don't know how to drive. Anyway, with the negatives, there's some uh, visual effects, although beautiful, uh, needs a little bit of work still, in my opinion. You can tell the green screen and some of the scenes, and some of the action is uh, very animated. The script, big time. The script is kind of laughable at times. Uh, dialogue is a little cheesy, a little basic for my face. Uh, I thought this is something more uh, more deeper, something with more substance and that's not the case with this movie. Any type of dialogue you see in a comic book you will most likely uh, recognize it in this movie. Very over the top, exaggerated, uh, cliche uh, type, type writing and I'm kind of surprised about that. Uh, not really, I guess. And other than that, that's really all there is to the negatives. There's not a whole lot. I'm actually impressed by this movie. Uh, is it better than Wonder Woman? I, I would say it's on par. There are some, some aspects of the movie that I think uh, benefits more than Wonder Woman, uh, especially the third act, which I won't spoil. The third act, uh, kind of like, you can just go for just that. The visual effects, although some scenes need some work, for the most part, uh, bravo to James Wan and his team. This team, whoever they are, I think should be a part of any DC movie from here on out. Because it's like visual eye candy, you know? They crafted Atlantis, I think, much more developed than Black Panther's Wakanda. The colors were vibrant. Everything, for the most part, uh, seemed believable. And I appreciate the movie for that. Another standout were the cast members, especially Jason Momoa, who stars as Aquaman. He, to me, is Aquaman now. After watching this movie, I have no doubts in my mind that he should be Aquaman from here on out. Just like I think Henry Cavill should have stayed as Superman, but the all know what happened there. Uh, well, at least for the most part, we'll see if he'll still be Superman, but I think he was uh, the better Superman than uh, the previous one, except for Christopher Reeve, of course. Christopher Reeve, Christopher Reeve to me, is the Superman. Uh, just right below that is Henry Cavill. But yeah, I, don't, I can't see any other uh, actor play Aquaman besides Jason Momoa. Amber Heard as Mira was fine as always and 
even more than that, she actually had a lot to do and she wasn't this damsel in distress type uh, situation. She was a, a suitable partner for Aquaman. Patrick Wilson was great as King Orm or Ocean Master. Uh, suitable villain, although kind of cliche again and one note uh, in my opinion. But no, no more one note than Black Manta. Black Manta was pretty cool, although we didn't see much of him. He's more like a supporting villain, uh, probably setting up for Aquaman 2, which we know this movie will will be so successful that Aquaman 2 is happening. And as a matter of fact, I hear rumors that WB is already developing it as we speak. So they are confident about this movie. They've been confident about it. They released the, uh, the embargo to review movies early. They had that Prime membership uh, special for watching movies a week early. Other reviewers were able to screen the movie even earlier than that. So when something like that happens, you know it's a sign that uh, the studio is 100% behind the movie and they're excited about it. Yeah, there's going to be an Aquaman 2 and it's probably going to be starring Black Manta as a villain. So yeah, that's the only, that's the other negative I forgot to mention is there wasn't much of him and his uh, acting and dialogue is very one note, uh, very cliche. Nevertheless, you know, he was pretty cool. So yeah, uh, William Dafoe was being William Dafoe as always, really great. Oh, and Nicole Kidman, ooh, that girl. Man, she's still fine at her age, but also still can act. I'm hitting up the gym, by the way, so. Ooh, parking. Okay, let's park right here first and talk uh, about the rest of this movie. And one more time, I apologize for the background noise. I have my heater on, so pretty, it's a little bit nippy here, but I enjoy it nonetheless. But I am sorry. So yeah, more positives. Like I said earlier, the third act is kind of steals the show, I think. It earns the price of admission alone. So if you're kind of on the fence about watching this movie, trust me, the third act alone whew, will blow your mind. And last but not the least, uh, I think really the real star of this uh, movie is James Wan, who directed uh, other films like Conjuring, uh, Insidious. You know, he's more of a horror director. Ever since he started doing the Fast and Furious movies, uh, he's been killing it. I mean, this is just his second one. And I must say, you know, uh, this movie, you know, bravo, James Wan, good job. The way you directed the action, how you transition into uh, the, between the scenes, and how you ensure that the camera is always moving, the visuals very stunning, and uh, just the whole direction, I think, uh, was an A plus alone. So, bravo, James Wan, for for Aquaman. I think uh, this is another hit uh, on your plate. Be, uh, looking forward to more of your movies. So what do I give Aquaman? Aquaman gets the gun show. You son of a bitch. So there you have it, my first movie review. Aquaman, definitely go see it. I think you'll have a good time even though you'll find some uh, corny dialogue and cheesy scenes and moments. I think you'll still have a great time. Well, that's my movie review of Aquaman. If you like my movie review, go ahead and smash that like button and support this channel by telling your family and friends about Flix Feed and subscribe. And as always, if you want to see more, you can click right here and get synchified.